If you think about the acronym RISC, R-I-S-C, the C does not stand for close because you cannot bring 100% of your calls to a close. What you can do is bring 100% of your calls to a conclusion. And this may shock some of you. This may go against, you know, kind of conventional wisdom. But my number one objective on any call, service call or sales call, and when I talk about your service call, I'm talking about the sales side of your service call. Anytime I'm trying to bring a sales opportunity to a close, I simply want to bring it to a conclusion and I want to get my homeowner to make a yes or no decision with me in front of them. And yes, I said yes or no. I don't care if it's a no. My number one objective is to get my homeowner to reach a final decision, a final conclusion about me and my company with me sitting right in front of them. Why is that important? Well, it should be pretty obvious. Think about this for a second. Your customers do not like to say no to your face. How do they like to say no? Well, they typically like to say no by not returning your phone calls and not returning your emails, right? That's how people want to say no. The reality is if you can get people to make a final decision with you in front of them, that decision will tend to be a yes because they don't want to reject you face to face. Now, if you give them the option and say, okay, if you decide you want to do something, call me, you're giving them permission to blow you off. Your objective should be to get them to reach a final decision. Yes is best, but no is a perfectly acceptable answer. Think about that for a second. In fact, I've got a friend of mine who wrote a book called Go For No. And it's a very simple concept, right? Instead of being afraid of the word no, what if your objective was every time you went on a service call that you tried to get your homeowner to say no to five different solutions, five different repairs or five different accessories, whatever. Imagine that, right? That would mean that you had to offer those solutions five different times. And if you got in the habit of offering solutions five different times, odds are you're going to stumble into a couple of yeses, right? So don't be afraid of the word no. What you should be afraid of is the I don't knows, right? The I don't knows that call me back next Tuesdays. Because the truth is, Tuesday never comes, right? You're going to sit around thinking you're going to get a sale, and it's going to be a phantom commission or a phantom sales opportunity. you got to keep your head on in front of you, right? Your sight in front of you. When you finish up with an opportunity, you got to give it every effort, your best shot to bring it to a conclusion. How do we do that? Well, it's very, very simple. All you have to do, if you've done a great job building a relationship, you've done a great job investigating the problems, you did a great job showing why your company is the best one to solve the solutions, to sell the solutions, solve the problems, then all you have to do is say, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, based on everything I've learned about you here today, you know, I'm going to recommend these solutions. I'm going to recommend the indoor air quality package because you said little Susie, we you know, was taking Allegra during the summer times. I'm going to recommend uh, this product because you said that room was uncomfortable. I'm going to recommend that product because you said that room was uncomfortable. Whatever it is, recommend solutions based on all the problems you uncovered in the investigation stage. Once you recommend those solutions, obviously you're going to write down a number. There's going to be some dollar value associated with every solution. You write that stuff down, and at some point you're going to have a list of three or four or five potential solutions. And you're going to say this, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, based on everything you've told me here today, these are the solutions I'm going to recommend to take care of all of your problems, every problem we've discovered here today. Now, here's the thing. I realize there's other companies around town that could take care of these problems for you, but if you trust me, you trust my company, a couple of things are going to happen. Number one, everything's going to happen just the way that it should, just the way I told you. Our guys are going to come in, be clean and quiet, and move on about their way, right? Number two, if there's any kind of problem whatsoever, I personally will move heaven and earth to make sure that's right. So the only question I have for you now is very simple. Will you trust me with these recommendations? You see, at that point, I simply want them to make a yes or no decision. And no is a perfectly acceptable answer. Again, yes is best, but a no is okay. The no's aren't going to kill you in sales. What will destroy you is the I don't know's to call me back. <music>